I think John's got the uh, advantage into turn number one. Oh, crossover move by Becker. Whoo! They're yeah, working it down the back stretch. Becker wants the inside line, and John Denslow says, if you want it, come and get it. And John Denslow is going to pick up the spectator one. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go racing. As the SUNY Cannon Sportsman goes green for 25 laps. James Carlson there on the bottom. He'll try to get the hook up. But the Greg Kimball, number 59, will get the jump off at of turn two. They pinball it through turn number three. Oh, trouble on the front stretch. Spano with heavy contact off of turn number four. And yellow will come out. Klein has not had the best of years right now, trying to rebound there on the bottom. Well, Joe Klein gets to the inside and picks up a spot. Meanwhile, Aquino gets around Beth Snugger. Up front. Beth Snugger now looks to the outside. Now swinging to the inside. Off the turns, Rocco from fourth to second as he brings it down. Down the back straightaway, Beth Snyder gets by Kimball, but now she's got to get by Leone. As two laps up there for Joe Klein. As he brings it off of four, Klein gets the win. Leone second, Snyder third. You now get up to the Italian Stallion, Rocco Leone. <laughs> you know, I was happy with second. It, it, the track was great. It was real fast. It was racy. And, uh, you know, to be honest, if uh, if I wasn't going to win, I was happy to see Joe win. He's, you know, he's been, he's been at it and working hard for so long. And to see it get away from him like that, I guess he's light. Green flag is out. Here we go. 15 laps coming your way. Skippy D leading the field as he's got the bottom opened up and Colby Herzog goes to the inside. Meanwhile, Russ Kusan remembered Chuck Pavalcic up there in the three position. Lap one and it's uh, Skippy D with uh, just that much of a lead over the three of Colby Herzog. Three wide down the back straightaway. And Chuck Pavalczyk takes over. Timmy Dunn, a last gasp effort. Chuck Pavalczyk trying to hang on. Here they come off of four. Down the front straightaway, it's going to be Chuck Pavalczyk. We ladies and gentlemen, give it up for charging Chuck Pavalczyk. I knew it was within inches. I knew I had to hug the bottom tonight. He's fast no matter where he is, and I had to guard wherever I could hold up. And, and Tim Dunn, he's, he's been doing this longer than me, so we're no rookies. We know what to do. Here we go. Green is out. Let's go racing. Time cards are punched. It's time to go to work for the drivers of the Tracy Order Equipment Model 5. They head down into turns one and two. Caitlin Kane with the advantage there on the bottom. Adam Roberts tries up on the high side. No dice there off of turns three and four. He'll get a good run on corner X, but Caitlin Kane at the stripe will lead lap number one. Caitlin Kane has the advantage. Meanwhile, Chuck Bauer has gotten by Adam Roberts. Now Chuck is chasing down Caitlin down the back straightaway. Bauer and then Bauer regroups off of back straight off of turn number two. Larry White started 14th. He's already up to the sixth spot. As Chuck Bauer diamonds off of corner number four, he will lead on lap number 14. He goes right to the top shelf and four wide. Oh, Chad Phelps in trouble. As is Matt Fink there, four wide down the front stretch. Did not bode well for those two. We got three 99s, one, two, and three. As they come off with number four, it's still going to be Chuck Bauer, but for how long? White will again try the bottom here. Off of turn number two. Holds even term side by side down the back stretch. White had to break first there on the bottom, but gets right back on the throttle. Off of turn number four, Larry White will take the lead. Tommy Sears and 
Bauer battling. Here comes Bellinger. Larry White gets the win. Second is going to be Ryan Phelps. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner here tonight, Lightning Larry White. Larry, welcome back to Fulton Speedway Victory Lane. Hug from mom from 14th starting spot here tonight. Pick up your second win of the year. You could put this car wherever you wanted it. Yeah, we had a really good car tonight. Uh, the track had a ton of bite in it. I didn't think that the bite was going to stay on the bottom. So we actually uh, set up for a little bit slicker of a track and we were able to be still loose enough to be able to run down there. Fifteen laps doesn't take usually a heck of a long time for these guys. As green flag is out. Three wide. Cunningham. Looking good there on the high side. Well, John with the advantage as he has four feature wins to his credit this year. Gordy Button has one. To the inside, it continues to be... Gordy Button and Cunningham swapping it back and forth. We'll be halfway home next time around. Checkered flag is out. Give the win to the panic button. Gordy Button. The translator for Bulls for Gordy Button. <laughs> Gordy coming around. Gordy, I think you had more problems getting out of the car than you did winning the race. Yeah, well, it took a little bit to get my rhythm. Once I uh, figured out it would work in the middle, guys did a great job setting the car up. We tried something different because this seems to be the kind of track we're going to run on, and we've got to get used to it, and we made some changes. And once I figured out that the car would work there, it was great. Worked their way off at turn number four. Green flag is out. Aaron Back is the first one down in the turns one and two. Brandon Ford will try his walk on the high side of the speedway as Aaron Backus will move it down the back stretch. We look at the 10T of Dave Talbot. He'll look to the inside as Brandon Ford right there in the middle. Three wide for the lead off of turn number four at the line. It is the 24 Brandon Ford leading the way. Brandon Ford in the middle led that lap. There's still three wide. Backus drops back into the third spot. Kingsley with a good run on the high side of the speedway. Tim Sears Jr. tries to push the issue and make it three wide. Talbot slips from first to third as Tim Sears Jr. now leads it in a turn three. Kingsley will come right back, however, in the middle groove off a of turn number four, but Timmer will lead lap number six. Nap Auto Parts, number 83 acts of Tim Sears Jr. will pick up the win. Nap Auto Parts, number 83 acts of Tim Sears Jr. will pick up the win. Get ready to climb out of the race car. Put your hands there if you would please for our fifth feature winner of the evening. And the victory land the Napa Weight Mile Division, Tim Sears Jr. Yeah, these cars are, there's just so much you can do with them. And doesn't matter what the track is, they always drive good. And the green flag is out. As Dorian Wooden battles the number nine, uh, Brett Draper, Draper able to take the lead down the back stretch. Not enough as Draper holds on to the lead here on lap number five. Ten laps to go. Gill will try it again. Nearly makes contact with the wall. Keeps the hammer down. Able to get by for the top spot. Can he hold it at the line? Yes. Gill leads lap number six. We'll see if Draper can't be a little patient here on the bottom of the speedway. Gill coming right back. Off of corner number four, who will it be? Brent Draper picks up the feature win. Gill will come home second. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Brent. Brent Draper, yes! 
I don't know, I was just trying to keep it smooth on the low side, and kept seeing him on the outside, it was getting me scared.